Hi guys, welcome to Game Hog's Top 10. Today we're going to be counting down the top 10 games that we think changed the world. In at number 10, it's Half-Life. Some people may not be aware of the Half-Life games, and those are people you shouldn't be friends with. Half-Life has set its place in gaming history as being Valve's debut product. Half-Life received acclaim for its graphics, realistic gameplay, and seamless narrative. It won over 50 PC Game of the Year awards and is often considered one of the greatest games of all time. Unlike many of its peers at the time, Half-Life features no cutscenes, giving the player uninterrupted control of the main character, Gordon Freeman. Just don't get your hopes up for a sequel to Half-Life 2. Number 9. World of Warcraft We've all heard of World of Warcraft. In fact, hearing the name will make you picture the players as something like this. And whilst this isn't that inaccurate, it does deserve to be praised. World of Warcraft was created in 2004 by Blizzard Entertainment, and quickly became synonymous with the world of MMORPGs, and it quickly gathered a player base of millions. The game became the brunt of many jokes from popular culture, most notably being featured in an entire episode of South Park called Make Love Not Warcraft. With seemingly never-ending expansion packs being released, it seems like the real world will most likely end before World of Warcraft does. In at number 8, we have Doom. Okay, so admittedly this game doesn't look so good nowadays, but this is a game that everybody had. Even if you didn't have it, you played it at a friend's house. Doom is a series of first-person shooter games that focuses on the destruction of hordes of demons and the undead in order to survive. Although Wolfenstein invented the genre, it was Doom that took on the challenge of turning 2D art into 3D space, and achieving things that other games just hadn't. The success and infamy of Doom led to a number of sequels of varying quality, as well as a film of arguable quality. Is there really anything to say about this game that you don't already know? There might be? Ugh, alright. Minecraft is a sandbox video game originally created by Swedish programmer Marcus Notch Persson, and later developed and published by Mojang. The purpose of the game is to build a square house, fight off square enemies, and wait for the square sun to rise. There's more to it, but that's the square gist of it. The game changed the face of gaming, becoming one of the best-selling video games of all time, and also one of the most viewed subject matters on YouTube, rocketing some YouTubers to fame with their Let's Plays, and inspiring a whole generation of kids to learn and create their own worlds in Minecraft, the game has certainly changed the world. Number 6. Super Mario 64 It's -a me, Nostalgia! Super Mario 64 deserves its place in our list because of its groundbreaking decision to bring Mario from the world of 2D to 3D. Due to this dimensional shift, Super Mario 64 places an emphasis on exploration, as well as requiring the player to complete multiple diverse missions, in addition to obstacle courses that are found in traditional platform games. While doing so, it still preserves many gameplay elements and characters of earlier Mario games. Also, we all remember dropping the penguin off the cliff. Number 5. Wii Sports It's 2006! The Nintendo Wii is unobtainable! And why? Because families across the world are swinging controllers around their living rooms playing virtual tennis. Released alongside the Nintendo Wii in 2006, it was the second best-selling video game of all time behind Tetris, and is the best-selling video game of all time for a single platform as of April 2013. The game has become a popular means for social gatherings and competitions amongst players of varying ages. Plus, the game encouraged a new realm of technological Darwinism, smashing the television of those who weren't careful, which was often hilarious. All up in the air, and when I... Oh, jeez! And there goes the tennis racket! Number 4. Mario Kart There's almost nothing that Mario hasn't whored himself out to. Tennis, golf, hell, even the army. But the most memorable is Mario Kart. Released in 1992, Super Mario Kart went on to be the third best-selling SNES game of all time. Super Mario Kart received positive reviews and has been praised for its presentation, innovation, and use of graphics. It's often credited with creating the kart racing subgenre of video games, and is also seen as having been key to expanding the Mario series into non-platforming games. However, it's also left some of us having a weird hatred of rainbows. Number 3. GoldenEye in 1995, Pierce Brosnan came along to put James Bond back on the map. In 1997, this game did the same with first-person shooters. It pioneered features such as atmospheric missions, stealth elements, and realistic-looking graphics at the time. However, it was the incorporation of the incredibly iconic multiplayer mode which led to forging and destruction of many, many friendships. We all had that one friend who wanted to be odd job. This game is one of the reasons people still dust off their N64s today, and has a fond place in the memory of almost any 90s child. 
Number 2, Final Fantasy VII. And now the game that made kids stay in dark lonely rooms rather than losing their virginities. No list of groundbreaking games can be complete without the awesome Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII is credited as the game that sold the PlayStation, as well as allowing role-playing games to find a place in markets outside of Japan. It's also been referred to as quite possibly the greatest game ever made, due to its never-before-seen merging of technology, playability and narrative, most notably being the game's graphics, audio and excellent battle system, and highly complex melodramatic story. Boasting other features like cross-dressing, polygonal abs, and straight-up murder, the game deserves to be at the forefront of any gamer's mind. And now, our number one. Let's be honest, this game has stuck at the top of so many people's list. With a beautiful story, epic design, and tear-jerkingly beautiful score, there's no way The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time isn't going to make its way to the top of our list. Released in 1998, it was the first fully 3D Legend of Zelda title. It featured on the biggest possible N64 cartridge at the time, 32 megabytes, which seems like nothing by today's standards. Despite giving a whole generation of kids a phobia of chickens and tall ginger males, the storyline of Ocarina was wonderfully written, working in many different species of creature with different selections of map with varying terrain. This game essentially paved the way for other open world games for many years to come. I was also re-released by Nintendo for the 3DS, which sold almost 4 million units, showing just how popular it is. Well guys, we hope you enjoyed this top 10 list. If we didn't mention any of the games that you'd like to see in our list, let us know in the comment section. We probably neglected them, and quite rightly so. Be sure to like and subscribe for more top 10 videos.